Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. You're watching x 2660 x with your bro, Zach, here. And we're going to get down on Resident Evil 2 Part 3 of my Leon playthrough. I guess we're going to continue where we left off yesterday with this puzzle right here. It's, this is confusing, though. There's one, there's one bookshelf in between the first two, one in between the last two, two in the middle. And each one has one space between it except the two in the middle have no space between it I have an idea. Let me see if it actually has anything to do with the torches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten torches in the picture. In this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay then. I know it'll help. Let me look at where exactly, because maybe I'm not getting the actual middle of it, and maybe I need to count the torches. So the, oh I see, the sec, the first statue goes between the first and the second, the second statue goes between the fourth and the fifth, and the, uh, the third one goes between the sixth and the seventh, and then the ninth and the tenth for the last one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five, and then six. Shoot. Okay. One, two, and then three, four, five. Or one, two, three is blank. And then four and five have one between it. Six and seven have one between it. And if I press the switch, then the last one should come into place. No, nothing. Make sure this one is all the way to the left. Yep. Hmm. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty confusing. Maybe. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe. I, what I'm thinking is maybe I need a ladder to get back up through the hole in the floor. And maybe. Maybe the power is supposed to stay on. Oh wait, we just turn the power off to move the one back into place, so... Oh well. Well, okay, first I will go through the next area and see if there's anything I could do there. I'll come back to this when I need to. I'll go through this uh, top entrance here. I swear I, I'm doing the puzzle right. Don't understand what I'm actually doing wrong. Unless it's the camera angle that's tricking me. But I don't think so. 
Whoa, what is this room? Seems to be broken, it won't work. What if I use crank? No? Okay. Oh, I see perfect. Oops. Oh yeah, what's this gonna do? Whoa, stairs. Awfully quiet. I don't like the sound of this. What is this? Looks like a switch. Will you push it? It's a scary switch. Can I get my finger grinded off? Head back down the stairs. It's not broken now, right? What I even just do? What happens if you push it again? The iron plate seems to have recently been moved. Okay, so it looks like it's broken right now, so it won't work unless we get, unless we get a piece to fix it. So I'm gonna head back down the stairs and I'm gonna head through the double doors. That's a huge police station. Let's pass these doors. Uh, uh get away. Dang it, I just trapped myself in a corner. Oh, sweet. The ladder goes down to the lobby room. Do me some good. What is this? Magazine rack. None of these books look useful. Ooh. Small key. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll put the shotgun away till I get some more shells. I was about to say, I was, I was like, man, I'm actually walking through fire, but it's just the camera angle just made it look like I was walking in the fire. Or, I don't know, it honestly looked like I was walking in the fire. Take a key. No, not that door. I want to go to the sewers, but I don't think I should actually leave until I complete that bookshelf. Well, I guess I'll go do the bookshelf puzzle then. Maybe I'm thinking, maybe I'm not thinking, maybe I'm thinking too hard about it or too easy. I mean, because I feel like all I need to do is match up the bookshelves with the ones in the little picture. That doesn't seem to be the case. Cause I did that and it didn't work. What's in here? Oh yeah, it's the archives room. I just remembered something. Was it the, there was a locked desk somewhere? Was it in here? I do remember there being one. I don't remember unlocking it yet. This one? Thank <laughs> you. 
What am I thinking? I ain't no diamond key. Just a regular key. Like some Dollar Tree key. Get away. Yelling at me like that. You're not gonna get nothing asking like that. fix that problem with the door being sealed from the other side I'd just take a sledgehammer to it and just smash it down or kick it open who would have known there'd be so many puzzles in a police station they really don't want you finding anything what's the lock desk in here It already had shells with it. Guess I'll take it. Remember, it was like a desk. It was up against. It was more up against the wall, like in the corner, kind of. It was in. A, I think it was just in a hallway. What's that one right there? Hey, I was right. What is this? Handgun parts? Um. Oh, can weapons break? I think that's what it means. That kind of reminds me. In Resident Evil 1, I had a broken shotgun. I never found out what to do with it. Maybe they're fixable? I'm not really sure though. I don't want to try combining them, I might waste them. Oh wait. Nah, no, it's not worth it. Not yet. Maybe it can break. Maybe that's why I've got maybe that's why now I have two shotguns. Actually, yeah, I found out how to do it. So, I think it may have been the camera angle that was messing me up, because in the picture, it looked like it showed the first and the second torch, and that's where I thought it was. But also, the second one was between the third and the fourth, the third one was between the fifth and the sixth, and the last one was between the ninth and the tenth. Well, hmm. Actually, I think maybe maybe I had to do the puzzle without the tent and without the first one because when I finished the puzzle this one was still open all I did was I had the same puzzle arrangement with the second and the third one and all I did is move this over to the right when when this was open right here and then that opened the I'll show you it opened this panel right here and we got the bishop plug now Assuming I know what this is for, this is probably for the generator. Generator was up here, right? I'm pretty sure it's for the generator. 
Now we got that, that stupid puzzle over with. Let's get this underway. I didn't even think of, I didn't even think of, it's like almost compromising two torches. Let's do the puzzle without the first and without the last one. It didn't make much sense to me, it was a total accident. Because all I did was, when the thing was open, and the second and third were in place, I just moved over to the right and opened the panel. I don't really know why that was how it goes. A plug of some sort in the shape of a bishop. Power source for the clock. The gears are clean. What clock? So I guess the I guess the bishop is not needed here. Actually, I know this is a weird idea, but let me I'm gonna actually try putting the red jewel inside it, even though I doubt that will even do anything. Oh, just as I thought. Well, it looks like the bishop and the two red jewels are needed somewhere else. So we're gonna go find where they're needed at. Go back over through this door, and then we're gonna go back down. Oh, I'll go through the. I'll go down here through the double doors again. shaped key. What kind of key? I don't have that kind of key. Dang, I didn't hit it. I'll check the store real quick. Uh, somehow I doubt the bishop's gonna put out walk gonna put out fire. I see that door. Is this, I, have I gone through this door? Wow, I think it's, it's I don't recognize, nope, this is a new room. So it wasn't crows here. I don't remember there being crows. Wow. I don't know how I missed that. I guess it's kind of blending with the wall. 
Uh, he's been pecked to death. I like the guy in Resident Evil 1. What did I lock it with? The bishop? What kind of key is that? Can't carry any more items. Of course I can. Whoa, what the heck? Really a dead body. It actually has some detail on it. And all it was was just handgun bullets. See what's past these doors. I think there's another room to the right. Now I guess before I go, before I continue, I'll go back to that last room and check what's in there. Okay, actually, before I continue on it all, I'm gonna go back and save. Well, Actually, I'm gonna go and put an item down, and then I'm gonna come back and grab the ink ribbon and save. It's easier than number one to use a knife, but it's still hard. Same thing I just said. I'm gonna put the handgun parts back and I'll put the shotgun back for now.
just in the past few days. I hit two goals on my YouTube channel. One goal is I got my one of my first my first video, uh, Res uh, Saints Row 2 Part 38. It's my first video with 20 views. Pretty impressive for me, at least. With more to come. And then another achievement I made is, I think uh, Wednesday, was it Wednesday or was it? I think it was Tuesday actually. And I, and I made my 100th video uploaded to YouTube. So I'm pretty proud. It's a lot of work. Oh dang, that's way too many zombies for me. Uh, imagine how many bullets I'd have to use on all of those. It'd be like a whole round or more. Huh? It just loops around to the front. You know, I didn't even know there was a door over here. It's probably locked from the inside anyway, so... I don't think I could have gone there straight away. that concludes it for tonight's video um, my next video which will probably be a few days from now or maybe even tomorrow afternoon um, we'll work on finding the numeric key, key code the four digits and then I will type into the safe and we'll reveal whatever's in there and hopefully we'll escape the police station and move on to the next area. Now just based on what they've been saying, I assume the next area is the sewers, because there was the underground, there was like the under pass to the police station. I assume that's like the sewer route. And they talked about a squad going to the sewer, going through the sewers to escape. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, hit that like button please. And if you want to stay tuned for more, ring the bell, subscribe if you want to support me. And if you if you want to additionally support me, then then I ask if you have any family or friends who think who you think would enjoy my content, if you could tell them about me, and I could become a bigger channel and have better quality videos. And thank you for watching guys. Have a good one. <laughs>